I've got a half a dozen Macapuno coconut here in this little opening. I don't have them, I'm filming them I should say. And these are at Fairchild in Coral Gables. And a uh, real neat story on these if you're not a Macapuno person. Uh, they are kind of a sport or a mutation and they don't express their coconuts uh, the way a normal coconut would and certain sugars don't convert or carbs don't convert and you get this sort of gelatinous interior in the nut itself and they're essentially sterile. They can be embryo cultured and uh, I suppose there is germination if they're pure uh, Macapuno by Macapuno in crosses. Uh, and the story behind this half dozen here, these are the progeny of uh, a plant, a Macapuno that was imported, I believe in 1939. And uh, Fairchild, uh, David Fairchild, brought the uh, seeds in from a plantation in the Philippines, or he had them shipped in, it took about 57 days to get here. And that parent plant of these uh, lived up until 1983 and then it perished from lethal yellowing and these were probably but we can't verify uh, embryo cultured in the late 70s so these are uh, probably pushing 40 you know 42 to 38 years old uh, so there's a real cool story in uh, the Fairchild website uh, Mr. Fairchild or Dr. Fairchild I can't remember if you had a doctor thing attached to his name but anyway David Fairchild uh, had um, uh, I guess a periodical he would write uh, little treaties on on different plants that he would bring into the country an interesting backstory on them so I'll attach a link to the occasional paper related to the Macapuno and um, it's it's a really good read and it'll give you a lot more information on on what's going on and and I reached out to uh, Brett Gestro, uh, who's the director of collections here at Fairchild before I came down and we had a conversation about these and he gave me some some information as well so I offer thanks to him for for bringing me up to speed on these guys so anyway just really rare uh, you can't import these into the states anymore so the uh, US population that brought these forward uh, doesn't exist anymore as far as we know they were spread out again you can read the article it's, it's really neat uh, Matheson was involved and uh, the Chapman Field I think got some and they were trying to spread them around. They had this notion that these things would take off here and that they could use them as an amendment for ice cream and uh, that would be a sort of a novelty uh, confection for the area back in the uh, early to middle 20th century. So Macapuno, I guess cultivar, but really it's, it's more of a sport or a mutation and there's half a dozen of them here at Fairchild Tropical Gardens. They're stashed away. They're really not out in the open. I had to kind of get permission to come back here and film them because uh, I guess they're special. And they got a bunch of other special stuff here, so I'll make a couple other videos. So there's your Macapuno. All the news that's fit to film on them.